Hey, it's me again, and I've got another CPA cooler review to do, and this is the Ryo Krig, Ryo Krig? Cryo Rig, actually, H7. So, you're wondering, is this an older version? No, this is actually a newer version. This is more improved. So, every Cryo Rig you're going to see in 2018 from me is going to be obviously the newer version of what I've done previously, which was pretty. People like the Cryo Rig, so I've done quite a few reviews of the Cryo Rig. Anyway, this has got um, a related or rated speed of 330 1600 RPM speed. So that means that it can be really, really quiet with two fans and really, really noisy. But we don't know until we have to obviously take it apart and put it together in on a CPU and then obviously go into the other room and then obviously stress test the CPU with a 6700K so we can throw enough heat at it just to see how it dissipates heat. I'm using the same case as what I've done already, which is the Aero Cool case. Um, I can't remember what actual Aero Cool case it is, but I'll find out in a sec anyway, um, so you know what it is, so you know all the benchmarks that I'm doing. With the CPU cooler, you will know. This is meant to be able to be accessible or obviously assessed no, assembled, that's the word I'm probably looking for, in four minutes. So let's go ahead and see if I can assess this, assemble, access, <laughs> in four minutes. Let's just do it.
tears in her eyes from the words we said Yeah, it kinda broke my heart Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think I'm trying my best to hold on but I feel myself giving You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on So now we've got the cryo rig actually inside the case. Obviously, from the front, there's no air vents. The air vents are on the side, but it's kind of very limited. And also on the top, none. But as I'm saying before in other CPU cooling videos, is that we've got an exhaust for the Evo Cool CPU fan, and then we've got two cryo rig uh, CPU air cooler fans. They look pretty cool. It looks very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Especially with all the blackness going around. I feel like a weatherman, I don't know, but don't worry about it. It's all good. Um, anyway, um, it looks really nice. So far, really, really, really freaking, really silent. So we've already reviewed this one, which is the H7. And this said installation made easy in four minutes, zero interference with the RAM and all that sort of stuff. Extreme efficiency, efficiency fine it tuned in. Uh, what's the difference between this one and this CPU cooler, which is the different version? This is the plus, this is not the non-plus. But with the H7 before, is when uh, AM4 came out, you could buy a bracket and then you could obviously fit the AM4 with the older model as well. This one says it only does 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, and FM1, which is AMD, FM2+, plus, AM2+, plus, and AM3+, plus socket. Now, what is the difference between that other than this is AM4 already ready and it's a different way of mounting system. So the way that you saw me mounting that in the, in the motherboard from earlier, obviously what's good about it as well is that you still, oh, broke the damn box, you still get the same thermal grease? You get CP7, yeah CP7 you still get exactly the same, okay. And then you put it out and then the CPU, uh, the CPU fan is already on there as well, especially with all these metal brackets. I love that and I love the aesthetics where it looks, still looks good and this is the very first one. Um, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, so with that, I know the brackets, are the brackets the same? I'm sure they were different compared to what I've done. Okay, no they're not, they, they're going exactly the same. It's a long time since I've done this uh, review. So they've got the same brackets. So basically, when you wanna use M4, you uh, spin this uh, down like that then it becomes an AM4 bracket, as you can see, like that. And then Intel, or some other Intel, or AM, no, this is Intel, this is AMD, because it's more like longer ways. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I like how they've done that. And it's just pretty simple. It was pretty quick. I think I've done uh, a speed test to see how long it would take me to install it. And as I haven't done it for ages, I tried it again, and it seems to be the same sort of speed really quite quickly. Aesthetics are really nice. Um, this is slightly different though, because I'm sure, right there, there you go. So you did have a bolt down right there. So you had a, you had a screwdriver that needs to be long enough to go straight in there. So that is definitely different from the last one. So, okay, still that in there. Close this box up and I've messed the box up as per usual. I think this one was slightly louder as well than what we're hearing at the moment. So now what I'm going to do with this one is while I'm doing this and talking in the background, I'm going to do a stress test on the CPU air cooler right now. Well, actually, before I do that, I should actually talk about it first, shouldn't I, really? So on the, uh, not this box, it's on this one. So the new one, the H7 Plus, it says that it's got a rate speed from 330 to 660, uh, 1600. And uh, on the actual website, it says from 600 to 2200 RPM speed. So it's completely different from the specification what I'm looking for. Is this the actual fan that was the right one? Let's have a look, M9 Plus. That'd be wrong then, M9 Plus, I thought it was wrong. Actually saying that, I know why, because I've got the M9 Plus as well to have a look at. But there it is, H7 Plus, that's what I wanted to do. And I clicked on the wrong one, so I need to click on that. So let's hopefully, please, fingers crossed that it's completely correct and I'm just wrong. Even though I don't like to be wrong, I would like to be wrong on this one, because it just looks stupid otherwise. 
Uh, yeah, there you go. No, still wrong. A rated speed by 300 to 1600 RPM speed, and it says 330 to 1600. Okay, so it is definitely wrong. Um, 59 CFM, 10 to 25 decibels, and it just says 25 decibels on the website itself, and 134 grams in weight. Uh, it says, where does the weight come into it? 134 grams in weight, cool. It's a 120 mil fan and everything like that, 145, 577. And that is the weight of the fan and the weight without the fan. So the weight with the fan is 845 and then without the fan is 577. Okay. Uh, the width of it's 126 millimeters by 123 by the height of 145. Don't think you're gonna really need that because in the video it does show that, um, how far you got. I suppose it does. It depends on the motherboard, doesn't it really? Anyway, this is the H7 Plus. This is the newer version, up-to-date version, which supports AM4 straight out of the box. And um, it's just an up-to-date version, really. Um, it took exactly the same time. Oh yeah, you don't have to screw down. You screw from the back with the four screws. I found it incredibly awkward. And I am a very, very advanced person with obviously building computers. But when it comes down to someone else that's not, it's gonna be pretty difficult. It's like you have to lean the case like back and then screw it in and stuff. I don't know whether that's gonna be favorable for other people. But anyway, um, let's go and stress test this computer now. And we're going to use ADA 64 and the thermal grease is still the same, it's not too bad or anything like that. So we're going to stress test the CPU, 6700K, which we've got in there. Spectral system. What are we running at the moment? Right, okay. Another CPU that is breaking records. What is, what is going on? I am so confused. Crucial, SSD, 41 degrees. Motherboard, 30 degrees. CPU air cooler, the lowest is 20 freaking degrees. The highest is 27. What? Oh. And you can hear it, it's super silent. Oh my God, I just, I really don't understand. To be honest with you, I think I'm gonna start recommending CPU air coolers, I really am, because this is ridiculous. This is just mad. And it's PWM, so it's all controlled. I haven't even done anything. I just literally plugged it in with the two cables straight into the CPU controller on the computer. And there you have it. And this case is not like the most air cool friendly ever. Anyway, let's uh, take a look. We'll run the um, we'll run a stress test on it and uh, see how it does. I'm just really freaking shocked. So instantly we've gone up to uh, 50 degrees, 59. Let's see if we can keep it under 65. That would be decent for me. Because going up against the Scythe um, Ninja 5, that kept under 61 degrees, which was ridiculous for 45 minutes. It was just, I don't know, it's mad. It's going up. And the fans are definitely spinning faster and it does sound to be a bit more audible. But let's just leave it and see how we get on. Oh, 68 degrees, just as I was speaking. Drop down a bit, please, drop down a bit. There we go. Right, let's leave it. As you can see, the CPU's been running for half hour, and I've only seen it hit a maximum of 62 degrees so far. This is shockingly, shockingly, exceptionally good. Let's turn it off now and see how much it goes down to. Just like that, we're in early, late 50s and what, no, sorry, the early 50 and then straight underneath the crucial, oh my God, it's ridiculous. This is amazing. So, I'm so shocked, I can hardly breathe. 24 degrees, just like that, 23. And the highest one is uh, 28 degrees. Wow. Well, you, there you have it. I have to recommend this as well. Aesthetics for me, definitely 10 out of 10. Quietness, 10 out of 10. It's slightly louder than the Scythe, which was uh, a longer. I don't know, it's just weird. But I just have to give this definitely a strong 10 out of 10. Aesthetics, 10 out of 10. Ease of use, 10 out of 10. Now, this is just shockingly, shockingly crazy. 
6700K runs nice. 7700K, crap CPU, but it still runs quite hot. This, if you've got a 7700K, uh, not this one, look no more further than the H7 Plus. I definitely 100% recommend it. Obviously the H7 is good as well because I did say good things about that, but they come back like a year later, maybe eight months, nine, 10 months later, and come back with this. Definitely 100% recommend it. Aesthetics, uh, um, sound, freaking performance. I've, I'm gonna start recommending these over AIOs, I really am. Anyway, if you liked this video, thought it was in depth enough, Subscribe, share, like, and I think I'm going to say that's it. I'm going to out.